back on that farthest left screen. Not so good. There's some little hatch or something that can be opened that I missed. And again, maybe not. Wanting to pop open this, but it is it is not open, so mm, nope. anymore, so it's not in there. That is the fortunate thing is that you can't actually screw yourself over. You can always get all the things before you decide to move on, or are allowed to <laughs> move on. <laughs> well, that is pretty much what a hidden object game is. Although this one is, like, much more of a puzzly feel than the general hidden object games out there that you find. Hmm. This feels much more akin to Machinarium or Otanicula than any of the uh, Artifacts Mundi hidden object games. Okay, so whatever this one is, it is amazingly well blended into the background. Yeah, I don't think it's the pictures. Definitely not the apple seeds. And it is not on the plane. Hmm. Like it would still be of the correct color, either green, orange, or blue. But again, it could be a blue thing on a blue background. <laughs> Let me click those already. open all the things that I can. It's not the egg. <laughs> it's not the light. Uh, there were three of those were all, all, all three of these train lights, all three of these were orbs that I grabbed already. Mm -hmm. Nope, can't look in the hole or interact with it in any way. Mm -hmm. Let me 
checked that. Can't zoom into that. Can't open anything on the screen. I still love the little interactions you can make with your mouse pointer. Very nifty. No, they don't go quite to that level of deception. At least not with the things of that nature, like... A a an orb will always look like an orb. blue fruits of some type. And actually now that I've been thinking of it, that's another of those blue fruits, not a ball of yarn. I always want to think that that is one of them, but... Okay, so I am leaning towards... Let's just check the walkthrough because I got nothing. And even with all of our eyes peeled, we can't find a single orb. Right, it's the last orb. We found 24 orbs. Quite easily. Through guide, chapter two. That's chapter one. Chapter two. Maximized aid my poor eyes. Okay, we got that. Got that. That one. Got the one in the grass. Got the one that was there. Okay. At least we didn't have to look for that uh, very far. So, button. Orbs. Okay, so. All the green ones have to go outside, all the orange ones have to go inside, blue ones to the middle. And when we click, it always moves in the given direction. Oh, this is, um, again, not a difficult puzzle by any means. It is just tedious as all hell. At any time I click too many times, it is purely because, um... Yeah, it's just me misclicking. Uh, okay, so... Let me get this around there. And derp. Yep, just a little green orb sitting in the grass. And again, herp, and also dirt.
There we go. Okay, and start getting blues inside. Oranges inside. Did I just say blues inside, oranges inside? I am all the derp tonight, like literally every last bit of it. There and we're done. <laughs> All right, and that is area two finished. Let's go ahead and play through area three, and then uh, probably move on to a different game after that. Because again, this game is absolutely fun, and the music is so nice. But, um, you know, hidden object games don't really make for amazing stream material. So, little chunks at a time. It's only, uh, five areas total, I think. Okay, so... Most exciting stream material. Jigsaw puzzles. No, 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 that's way over here somewhere. Look at that blue. This is the Tiny Bang story. <laughs> that would be something, Beld. Keep that in mind because I do have a couple of games, uh, yeah, a couple of uh, jigsaw puzzles on my Amazon wish list, and um, my sister or my aunt, one or the other, tends to get me one for Christmas each year. So we'll see. That could honestly become a reality. And there we go. Area three. Let's go. No, no, UA, that's why I get them new and not used. Although, again, they could be missing pieces even new, so <laughs> you never know. Ah, oh, yes, this area. Hi, puzzle piece. Puzzle piece. Puzzle piece. Nope. Yeah, puzzle piece. Puzzle piece. And all sorts of things that I know we will be collecting, but I uh, can't quite get just yet. Oh god, a Rob doing puzzles. <laughs> yeah, that would end well. Puzzle piece, puzzle piece. And here, and here. And there, and there. Lots of very obvious ones in this one. Okay, so... We need apples. And apples which are not in this room, because otherwise... That would be the, um... Easiest puzzle ever. Oh yeah! Who has good eyes? 
Again, not an actual sliding puzzle, so no complaints about the controls. Here's some yellow, orange. Anybody who is colorblind is gonna be owned by this. This is um. <laughs> Three rows. <laughs> that right there. That goes over there. That's there. It's blue and done. Thank you for the apple. Oh, right, I can't take the paper until I know I need the paper. Now I know I need the paper, so I can take the paper. And plop it right on up there. And... No, I can't take the apple. Could have sworn I could take that apple, but, um... Okay. Oh, there's an apple right there. Yeah, let's see. Puzzle pieces right there. Right there. One on the tree. Two on the tree. I could have sworn there was an apple sitting out here somewhere. Obviously packages are going to be a thing quite soon. Yeah, let's get this out of the way, and I'm just going straight to the solution because, um, yeah. Okay. Left, right, left, right, right. Start with that. And let me just show you as an example. The right turns by 90 degree rotation, the left by 180 degree rotation. Ah, yes, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I see it up there now. And you have to make a very specific map with the colors all properly coordinated. So, let's reset that. Left planet, right. Left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, and right, and right, and right, there we go. So there is our map, all well and good. We need a token. And I'm walking away without the apple. Get back out there. Okay, so up to the fourth area. Last one for this level. All the puzzle pieces. And what's in here? A puzzle piece and a package. Okay, we need... oh, the thing from downstairs. We need the knobs. Oh, there's an, uh, one knob already. There's a second one. Third one. Hmm, cool. Thanks, Candris. 
Ooh, and there's only one puzzle piece left. Let's see. I don't think there are any other things we can look inside of. So, wherever that last one is, it's on one of these screens. I just have to be super eagle-eyed for that. Okay, so, get our last knob. And again, I'm... Oh, right, we just need that up there. That is not one of the apples. Okay, so let's go get the thing that will allow us to get the three apples there. Yes, yes, go away. And then we'll just <laughs> work around you. That will also work perfectly fine. This goes here. And we just spin it around until such point that... Yep. Until such point that everything lines up. Spun it. Let's try that again. But that don't work. Maybe I was supposed to go left from the beginning instead of right. It's like that is so close to being right. And that's the only one that we can spin, so. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Oh, uh, no, these... All of these apples are off-limits. It's only the uh, apples in the other rooms which count. Because puzzle games. Let's try going left. Hey, how about that? All right, so we get our little code thingamajig. Ah, go away. 